Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today's video is not one of my workout videos. I had a couple of requests asking me about to speak or do explain a little bit about the nutrition or the way I eat or what I eat. And yes, we are going to discuss about that a little bit today. Now, before I begin, I want to just put it out there saying that I'm not a dietitian, so I'm not going to tell you exactly what to eat or how to eat. I do or I did study sports nutrition and I have a fair bit of knowledge. I'm continuing to educate myself in the field of nutrition and it's a constant, uh, I would say, endeavor to make sure you stay up to the mark in terms of the latest changes in the field of nutritional science. So what I'm going to do today is share my knowledge, my experience with you in terms of how to begin or how to plan your nutrition. So there is a lot of good knowledge right now out there, actually everywhere in social media, which you can consume and actually build yourself or try to make those changes in a very well mannered way. But also there is uh, knowledge out there which is not complete or sometimes does not apply to you but the foundation or the basic basics of the nutrition always remain the same so what I want to share with you today is kind of a blueprint on how to approach things or how you should be looking at nutrition or the way you need to plan about it so let's begin so I have my computer here for me to refer to my bulletins. I have just put out some pointers so that I don't lose track or I don't lose the structure in, uh, structure in the conversation which I'm going to have with you. So to start with, let me establish this. Uh, this is something not new. It is absolutely pre-existing. Many people follow this in different fields of work, not only with nutrition, but also with fitness, as I mentioned, uh, the workouts which I do also go as per this structure and also other businesses do follow this and that's called SMART goals. Now SMART considered it, consider it as, as an abbreviation. So when you divide SMART, uh, you get all your answers in terms of establishing yourself. Many of you must always already be aware about SMART and if you're not, I hope I'll be able to explain it to you in a manner which you would be able to understand and apply it to the nutritional planning which you require to do. Now let's begin. For SMART, the first letter is S and that's where uh, the specificity comes in. Any kind of nutritional plan which you want to start off with or bring into your life has to have a specific goal. It helps you narrow down the options available, the various number of good options available and also helps you understand your, uh, your path forward. Now, when it comes to specificity, I, would, I can give you an example how important it is. If you're someone who wants to just lose weight only by nutrition alone, not working out, no other physical activity, only by nutrition, it's a different approach. But on the same hand, if you're someone who wants to lose weight while exercising, while having some kind of physical activity in your life on a regular basis, it would be an absolutely different approach. I mean, the basics would remain same, but there'll be quite many changes which you need to consider because the specificity of your goal has changed slightly. So that's one of the key establishments Remember, the points which we're going to talk are all foundational. Uh, there's nothing more or less important. They all have to be considered and given value in equal levels. Only then you would be able to achieve your goal in a pleasant and expected manner. So once you establish yourself, for example, my goal is to build muscle, grow stronger, which will help me live a more healthier lifestyle and also live longer. So that's my goal. So I have a specificity in terms of how to build my nutritional plan. Now we move on to the next bit. 
in smart the next letter would be m and in m it's usually considered as measurable i also like to add medical clearance to it why because when it comes to nutrition you have to ensure of course if you're a healthy individual and do not have any underlying issues medical clearance is just a self attestation that you say okay i'm medically fit i do not have any problems any underlying conditions which would be affected due to the nutritional changes i'm going to make in my life going forward so i'll go ahead and do it but if you're someone who is having underlying issues for example diabetes thyroid issues bp blood pressure issues you need to consider those when it comes to making nutritional changes this might not affect your nutritional changes greatly because obviously you're making nutritional changes for the good so this also might be the driving point this also might be the specificity of your goal i want to change my nutrition because i want to make my uh, bp or sugar biomarkers better again it's a specific goal with a medical background and you have medical clearance from your doctor or from your general consultant whom you are going uh, back and forth with so you can go ahead and do the nutritional planning accordingly when you have this underlying issues i also recommend taking an expert advice because it's always important to make sure you do no harm before you do any good it's a changing thing you have to be experimental also but at the same time make sure you do no harm now the other part of the m is basically measurable the goal which you set yourself should be measurable so if you're going to say i'm just going to eat less from tomorrow that's not going to work that's not how nutrition works if someone tells you tracking calories is boring someone tells you that oh why do you consider all these macros calories and everything uh i would say avoid that conversation because it is important to track tracking gives you an insight about what you're doing before making any kind of nutritional changes you have to track what you're doing presently and then put goals accordingly about how you're going to change it because if you just randomly put things in place and say from tomorrow onwards i'm going to do all good things but what were you doing before what were the measures which you have considered to make these changes so it is important to track what you are doing presently without changing much without being conscious about it and then set measurable targets wherein you see yourself making small small changes to what you have been doing to what you will be doing so making it an easy trackable measurable medically clear approach in terms of your nutrition so by now you have already have a solid structure this all remember as i speak to you this might seem like a little bit a lengthy process but if you sit down write it down on a piece of paper and practice it for a couple of days you will have it all figured out before even you know and the process becomes more easier as you do it more often so moving on to the next alphabet which is a achievable now this is my most favorite again no partiality nothing is less or more important in this smart abbreviation but achievable is one of my favorite things because i often find people trying to do everything together in one go it's not going to work or i haven't seen it working unless until you have the mental fortitude of someone like david goggins so yes so the will power or the mental fortitude you need to do make changes have to be built up over a period of time you need to have goals which you can achieve in a step by step manner again for example when i started my journey in terms of building my muscle transforming myself back into a great shape which i was in previously but due to covid i was not able to work out or follow a good nutrition uh, diet or intake i had to set myself up for achievable goals in a manner again i'm going to explain the everything goes hand in hand so i'm going to explain it more uh, the next bit when i'm going to explain this becomes more clear you have to put yourself in for example again uh, i want to consume 150 grams of protein per day i want to achieve 2 grams of protein 
per one kilo body weight. Now, if I want to do it from tomorrow and the first day of my transformation, I'm going to have a really hard time. My stomach is not going to agree with it. I might have uh, digestion issues because I'm not, I haven't done it for a long time. Suddenly I have introduced a lot of protein into my body. I'm not able to make up to my meal planning. I'm not able to stick to the time periods. Everything will be chaos. And at the same time, I'm also trying to work out, build up a good workout routine. So trying to do everything in one go is not a good idea. Set yourself up with achievable goals, for example. Okay, at present, you have already tracked, measured your calories, or in this case, you have already measured what you have been doing. I have been doing only 50 grams of protein. So I'm going to increase 20 grams or maybe double it or try to double it. 20 grams is too less, 50, doubling it is a little slightly easy. So 100 grams of protein for the next two, three weeks. And I'm going to try to achieve that consistently for the next three weeks. I achieved it. Then I step it up a little bit further, maybe increase another 20 grams from here. The journey becomes a little slightly challenging. So I do a, a smaller changes, smaller increments of changes. So achievable goals in a time period. So I'm building up to it. So always remember, don't make all your nutritional challenges, uh, sorry, changes on day one. Once you have figured out what you need to do and how you need to do, approach it in a step-by-step -step manner. You have already had the specificity, you have already measured, and you also have the measurements to go forward with. Now you have to set achievable targets on a systematic manner so that you can achieve them step by step. And as you do them step by step, small, small wins will build your confidence, your mental fortitude in terms of sticking with the plan, being disciplined. And once you have done that, it's an easy way. You can sustain it for a way longer period of time. I've often seen people following a very strict and rigorous uh, nutrition plan from day one. And on day seven, they feel they have done a lot of work and they feel they deserve to let go and they often offset the entire week's work or at least three to four days of that week's work in one night itself. So never put yourself in a situation wherein you want to make all changes in one go until unless you have that mental fortitude and discipline wherein you know that uh, you can stick with that kind of a commitment. Go ahead, do it. I'll, I mean, I like to see people do that, but Oftentimes, it's not possible given the commitments which we have in our uh, regular life in terms of work, family, faith, many things come into place. So it's always advisable to have achievable goals set up and not bringing all changes in one go, especially when it comes to nutrition, while you're also trying to make other changes in your lifestyle. Because taste and food can be quite tricky on your uh, I would say mentally they're quite challenging because sometimes when you're down feeling low you want to have something good to feel your uh, to feel better so food plays quite an important role in terms of your mental status so never put food as a challenging factor when it comes to your uh, mental sanity because you will tend to uh, let go in terms of staying in this uh, disciplined for the approach which you have set up for your own self because it's i mean if you're not accountable to someone else you're accountable to your own self and uh, that's not quite difficult to break now the next part would be being relevant or realistic the goals which you set yourself up with the nutritional goals now if you're someone who are starting for the first time, don't set yourself up for something which is completely unrealistic. Uh, again, it falls back to the achievable goals part, wherein you say, I'm going to achieve this. I'm going to lose 10 kilos weight in this one month. You haven't done that in the last one or two years. Why do you want to do it on, on the first month of your uh, nutritional change? Take it slow. Take it a realistic approach unless until you're competing and you have done it previously. Yes, you can have, uh, but then it will become realistic because you have done it previously. So there are realistic goals. You can achieve them. They can be extremely aggressive in terms of what you want to achieve. But when you're planning your nutrition, make sure you are looking at a realistic picture wherein you know, okay, this is what I can achieve 
in a very systematic manner let me approach it in this manner it will take time but it's realistic and you'll also start getting results once again building your confidence building your mental fortitude giving you that positive feedback the overall picture starts coming into play and it's a very small subject or topic but quite important because at any point of time if you feel can i do it or is this really possible it's always good to relook at the measures or the goals which you have set yourself up with if you feel uh, if you go back to it and see that no i can still do it go ahead do it but if you see that it looks a little bit unrealistic it looks a little bit too aggressive i'm not sure dial down a little because for the greater good for the longer good it's better to have something <coughs> sorry take a little bit more time and then achieve your goals then to achieve them or try to achieve them in short time and fail and the last letter in smart goals is t which represents time you might have heard a word called periodization it uh, is quite frequently used in sports in training wherein you set goals in time periods help you establish a clearer picture in terms of what you have to do in a particular time period now you have different cycles of it you have micro cycle you have meso cycle and macro cycles to put it in a small way or in an example in terms of nutrition a micro cycle would be as i mentioned earlier i want to increase my protein intake by 20 grams for this week that's my micro goal i'll achieve it i'll achieve it again i'll achieve it again so for the entire three weeks i have done my micro goal achieved now as i do those incremental increases i am reaching to the stage wherein i will achieve those 150 grams of protein intake which is my meso cycle basically my 3 month period goal or a 4 month period goal wherein i want to achieve that 150 grams by achieving this micro goals and once i have achieved that the macro goal which is the long term goal of me building good strong muscular body for living a healthy lifestyle is being achieved as i accumulate more of this meso cycle so every meso cycle i do i tend to improve improve build up to my long term goal i hope it's clear so as you can see everything comes into a circle you can't have one thing or you cannot have four of it and not have one thing all these five things have to come into play together for you to establish your nutritional plan in a solid manner that you don't have any kind of uh, i would say fault lines or hurdles now that's a great segue to the next topic i'm going to say we're done with smart you have understood it you have set specific goals which are measurable which are achievable which are realistic and you know relatable and also time bound so you have this perfectly figured out nutritional blueprint now you start putting things into play and things start happening what happens one day you might not be able to achieve or might come off the rail so called cheat meal should you say oh i can't do it i messed up everything goes to ground zero let me start again well i would definitely say discipline is quite important in terms of achieving your nutritional goals because nothing uh, can come higher than discipline in terms of helping you achieve your nutritional goals i also encourage people not to be discouraged when you have small failures in terms of nutrition because as i mentioned earlier food is quite vital taste matters a lot to many and it could have a quite an effect on your mental sanity it's something which you have to go in a very uh, measured in a very controlled or in a very uh, structured manner otherwise you would tend to 
have a couple of failures here and there and it's also sometimes because of your commitments to other part of your lifestyle so never be discouraged with small term failures which you face now and then it's all about that consistent drive to keep up with the established objectives by your own self your own accountability and the more consistent you tend to become the more results you tend to achieve so always keep that in mind if i am not perfect i'm not i'm not going to sit here and say i'm having perfect meals every day in and out no i'm not so once in a while i go out with my friends once in a while i don't feel like eating because i am down i'm not feeling completely well sometimes i have a long day at work i don't want to eat i just want to sleep so i'm going to skip my meal i'm not going to you know achieve my nutritional uh, macros for the day does it bother me yes it does i it bothers me to an certain extent but do i let it bother me to an extent wherein i feel completely discouraged and say okay this is not going well i have to redo this or have to make major changes again this that no it's okay it's okay to uh, sometimes have external factors affect your commitment of uh, discipline in terms of nutrition but what you have to keep in mind is that how consistent are you in terms of getting back on track as soon as possible not letting this small setbacks completely derail you off already a great smart goal which you have set yourself up with now this is all for this particular video i know a uh, few uh, you know questions or few requests have been to share what i do exactly this is what i do exactly what i eat is what i'm going to share in the next video in which i'm going to do another sit down again i plan to do that but what i do exactly is this i write down everything what i'm doing i track or measure what i'm doing set myself up with realistic and achievable goals set time targets in terms of how long i want to do it how i want to do it and by when i want to achieve it and if everything seems good i go ahead and stick to it as long as possible and once i'm consistent enough i start seeing results i might want to make it a little bit more challenging or i might want to stay on it for a quite a bit of time it all matters it's very individual it is as i mentioned earlier i can't sit here and explain you one particular approach maybe it might apply to one of the viewers where they might say oh this is what exactly i wanted but the rest of the few viewers which i have which has who has subscribed to my channel or who are seeing this video for the first time or me for the first time might say oh this doesn't work for me this is too much or i can't do this or this does not apply to me because you might be a marathon runner you might be someone who is training for a upcoming competition in terms of some sport or you might be someone who is trying to come off an injury so the nutritional needs would be quite different but i assure you if you apply this blueprint to whatever you want to do especially in nutrition it would help you get at least an idea about how to structure it in my next video i'm going to definitely talk a lot more about what i am doing which might help you in terms of taking few good choices in terms of your nutrition uh, for example how do i consider my macros how do i consider my eating habits portioning timing supplementation so that might help you a little bit more uh, but till then that's about it for today's video thank you so much for watching i hope this little bit of insight is helpful and if you did like this particular video please do drop a like and any feedback in the comment section is greatly appreciated if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel i would request you to subscribe because i do upload my regular workout videos which is actually my strength i i am in a transformational journey and i recording every workout of mine which you can work along with me and you know gain the same amount of gains i am uh, right now doing or getting the nutrition bit of it i am trying to go deeper into this subject try to do a little bit more justice to it but till then thank you so much for watching have a good day